it's really wet. You see how clumpy this stuff is? So it feels like a lot more just because it's so heavy. A lot of snow. That thing's pushing as much as the Arctic. Pushing the same amount. You guys, little buddy. What's up, Paulo? Little Frenchie. <laughs> so that's a lot of heavy snow. We'll see if the diesel can get it to move. Usually, you just lose traction right away. It's a lot of snow. Nope. Not happening. I get a little run. It's a little greasy underneath. What's going on everyone? So you've all seen us using snow power the last couple years. Uh, this is this is our only snow power pole plow. So far it's been really good. Uh, recently Rick, Rick Wheel and his son Bryce. They've, they've been using it a couple years now, but they built this uh, F12 front plow. Shooter, what do you think of this F12 front plow? You like it? You like it? Yeah, he likes it. Shooter likes it. Anyway, uh, it's a, there's a lot to it. Um, you can see my one foot. I had a, a marginal pin to hold the foot up and it popped out. So my foot came down and got bent. So I just straightened that out. But I've used this for about a year now. Got a season on it. Um, the only problem I've had was that one cylinder. Quit working to put a new one on and it was good. Um, but it's a great plow. The, the mold board is six feet and then each wing is four feet. So it's 12 feet wide. Um, it has nitrogen on all the cylinders, which is pretty bad to the bone. No other snow plow that I know of has this. So it's super smooth. There's a lot to it. Got this knuckle on here so his wing can come all the way around. But it doesn't have plow lights. I use my regular truck lights, which is awesome because plow lights are just a pain anyway. All the weighing harnesses and they're never as good. So it's nice to use your truck lights, right? Yeah, I think he agrees. So when I heard Rick was coming out with an F14, of course we had to try one. So my brother James had recently got a new truck, so I figured why not slap F14 on his truck. So that's what we did. So after Jameson using it for an event, he really liked it. And just to be clear too, Rick at Snow Power, um, and none of the dealers have never paid us a dime. Uh, they're not paying us to say this, but uh, we've, we've been using these plows a while and uh, they, stay, they work really good. We really like them. So overall, it's a great product. They just carry so much more snow. Like a V-plow, when it scoops up like this, they just don't carry very much. And as far as wind rowing, this blade doesn't turn, but when you put this one wing forward and the other wing back, a lot of the snow kicks off the other side. If you're plowing commercialist plow and this F12, F14 is definitely for you. If you're plowing, you know, roads across a lake to get to your fish house, it probably isn't for you. Uh, but if you're doing anything commercial, if you're scooping snow and occasionally wind rowing, this plow is for you 100%. It's so nice when you hit something, how this main, this right here, will go in eight inches so you don't even feel it. The whole thing's whoosh, so you don't even feel in the truck. You're not just pounding your truck, just boom, like pounding out like a like a any other Western wide out V plow, anything. There's there's no cushion at all. It might have a trip edge, but that doesn't do near what this does. They scrape really good with these wings, uh following like with down pressure on the wings, it follows the contours really good, scrapes amazingly well. Rick the owner of Snow Power isn't afraid to think outside the box. He's not afraid to stick his neck out to try something that's better than what we have. Everyone has V plows. Everyone's been using them forever. That doesn't mean they're the best. That doesn't mean that there's not a better way to do it. I always think if we've been doing something one way for 30 years, it's probably outdated and there's got to be a better way by now with the technology and advancements that we have. So that's kind of what this plow is. Everyone's been using the V plow forever. That's all they know. They think that's all, that's what it is what it is. Now there's a way better way for commercial plowing with a pickup. This just plow right here will scoop and carry way more snow than any other plow on the market, guaranteed. I tell videos but this is an insane amount of snow you'll see that one time jay went by and then we had a 10 foot arctic right there and he was carrying way more snow than that 10 foot arctic it's, it's insane it carries they scoop so much and they're quick i mean the controller's easy it's uh it's all around a great product so i'm super excited for these plows i think in five ten years you'll start seeing more and more of them out there uh, right now they're just kind of getting up and going i think they they used them for two winters testing and then just this last year they started putting, so this is their second season on the market i know there's been a couple issues but of course uh, it's a new product you gotta wear the kinks out of it so here's the controller I've been using for the front plow. It's super easy, up, down, left wing, uh, head, uh, light bar, transport, plow. Super straightforward, on, off. And then I've been using the wireless one. Um, I like this wireless one for the back plow just because I don't got to deal with the cord, on, off, left wing. Because all the buttons are the same, it's kind of hard to distinguish. Where this, obviously you have, you know the middle one's up and down and each one. So this one, you don't really got to look at it to run it. Where this one just takes a little practice to figure out uh, what, what, because see how they're all the same. So it's kind of hard to tell, you know, okay, one down is left wing out, top is wing in. 
Uh -huh. But I've, I've used this. It's really easy. I charge it. I've barely ever charged it. The battery holds really good. I've been using this for my back plow and uh, I've liked it so far. So this is what I use. This for the back and this for the front. It's been good. Let me know what you guys think of these plows. If you've used them in the comments below. And remember, it is what you make it to be.